Rest in peace, my nigga, Young Dolph. Young Dolph, keep Glock, uh, here all here. That's time. right, that's right. What up, fam? What's the word? What's up, Everything my boy? Good? Yes, Great. sir. Yes, indeed. Uh, $22 million right. is a considerable amount of money to say, nah. Why? They've been three, a little bit, little bit more than three years ago. <laughs> he said we late, bro. You, it's like, we done quadrupled that up <laughs> since then? Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> but most people still don't understand why. If you a hustler, if you a businessman, you understand why. Right. Especially if you know Dolph. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. They offered me that tw like three years ago. Mm -hmm. So just imagine if with the conversations like right now. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, it was on some like Master P type stuff where? No, it was on some Young Dolph shit. <laughs> what I mean though, let me say, by Master P as an, ex an example before that, he was offered what, 10 million and he turned it down because he said, if you offer me 10, I know I'm really worth 30, 40. No, I you think P said they offered him like a million or two million or yeah. something like that. And but, he was like, him and C Murder left out. He was like, yeah, that, you right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it wasn't even so much dead. It was just like, I'm a hustler. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I know that I can leave out this building and go yep. stir up some more shit and yep. make y'all want to like give me even more up the value. You mm know -hmm. what I mean? Like, I just always been the person that I'm going to always gamble big on myself. This right. is how I was raised. Like, Gamble big and win even bigger. Exactly. Now I get it. It's on yeah. some believe in yourself. You don't, you don't, you don't have to really rely on anybody to do it for you, because you know you can build your own empire. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah. How how have you been inspired just by his moves in that way, like to think on a business mind like that? Really, really on the business side, like he inspired me, like with with, with everything I do, because it's right. like it's deeper than music with us. It's like he handled business with, with other things outside of music and I still be there sometime to witness it and understand it, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Nah, I get it, I get it. They sure. are cousins, right? right? Yeah. Cousins, like, so is there is there family, like, a, a, like a friendly family rivalry when it comes to the getting in the booth <laughs> or making songs or you trying to crush him? He's like, I got beat my cousin. <laughs> I'm like, there ain't anybody I get on the song with. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just like it don't that. matter who you are, you can yeah. get it. Straight up. <laughs> I think awesome. if you don't do that, bro, you ain't, you don't take your shit serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm going to do. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it's like when I come behind Glock, it's like I can't come behind Glock and go rap some bullshit, just right. rap a yeah. bullshit verses. Like, nah, I gotta come on with it. You know what I mean? Like, Glock hard. Like, just peep game. He done got to all the way where he at by never doing, he never had no features, no nothing on none of his mm -hmm. tapes. Mm. So, it speak for itself, it speak volumes. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't know no young nigga that's on his level doing what he doing and got what he got that's around his age. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't seen it. Clock, did you feel pressure to succeed since you signed with family? Like, did you feel like you have to up that? Do I feel pressure? No. Nah. No pressure? I don't feel pressure with nothing, really. Nah, he don't feel no pressure. <laughs> Listen, you ain't got to put nobody on a song and, and, and you have the, uh, the reputation that you have. You clearly don't feel any pressure. Now, uh, you were talking earlier, we were talking about you betting on yourself and you being a hustler from the street and things of that nature. Lots of people can learn stuff in the streets and have it translate into regular business. What is the, one of the biggest lessons you learned from the streets that has been able to translate into what you got going on as a, uh, as a music mogul at this point? Staying focused. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. What's the hard about, hardest part about being focused? You gotta think, man, there's so much shit to get sidetracked it on. You got, right. you got the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got, you got all of the materialistic shit. Mm -hmm. You got toxic friends, toxic partners, the ones that want to give you their two cents but don't know shit about business. Mm -hmm. You got, it's everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of shit. Like, a lot of people get caught up on what's going on, like, instead of focusing on what you got going on yourself, what worked mm -hmm. for you, what's best for you. A lot of people be so stuck on like watching everything and everybody else or looking at social media all day and it's mm -hmm. like they dictate their life off of what everybody else doing. Right. You ain't gonna get there like that. You know what I'm saying? I saw your uh, Twitter rant about people like being stuck on clout. 
And how do you feel like you don't succumb to being stuck on like what's popping on social media and stuff like that? I don't know. It's like some shit, like it's just in you and it ain't. Right. That shit just ain't in me. Do you be on there often or you just don't even really? Be- Everybody be on social media, but it's like, you y'all know. know the ones. You can look and tell the ones that just, they live, they life right. is for social media. You know what right. I'm saying? Don't you know how to Like the shit Drake just sitting there around, like people having more followers than dollars. Mm. And that shit just the honest to God truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And some people ain't got the followers yet, but they ain't thinking about the dollars. They thinking about the number of them followers. They want them followers. Mm. They ain't even really stuck on the dollars. Like, they want them followers. They want their attention. It used to be called attention. Like, everybody used to want attention. It just translated now to the followers. Everybody want them views and them followers. And it's cool, but goddamn, like, <laughs> come on now. I mean, them the followers right. do sometimes turn into dollars. Yeah, but at the same time, it shit, some people don't know. It. They ain't, that's not resonate with them. They want to, they just want to, like, be in the mix. They just want to, they just want talking and gossiping and shit to be going on. Like, right. that shit ain't about it. Gossiping don't get you shit. They ain't, I don't know, man. Right. It's I like, might be wrong, but I don't know. You make it work for you how, how you want to use it as a tool, right? Yeah, it's exactly. Easy. It's like, don't get me wrong, you got to, you get your shit up. It's not like how I look at social media is all about money. Like mm-hmm. I look at everything about money. Bro. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like you run your shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like get your money out for it. But a lot of people they not they ain't they ain't trying to do that. Mm. They just right. want to like be in the gossip topics and the gossip situation right. and the, the talk and the attention. Like mm-hmm. fuck the money. I don't know who raised them, where they get that shit from. <laughs> <laughs> get that I mean? up off your mind. <laughs> it might just be where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, I'm from Memphis, and it's like everything about paper with us. You know what right. I mean? It's like everything. You know what I mean? It's like we're going to find the littlest, the bullshittest thing, whatever we into, is we gonna res- we going to go back to the shit. Do we got anything to do with money? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, if you ain't got nothing to do with money, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Exactly. It's like... You know, you could turn anything into a dollar and definitely use social media as that, but also you can use social media to express yourself, right? And I know you recently shared, you know, about your cousin Juice World. Like, you know, what made you, because I know as artists, sometimes we got to protect some parts of us we don't like to share, but what made you want to share that with the world? It really was just on some, like a, like a, like a a fake thing, like a, Mm-hmm. Like I just did or without even yeah. just even it just thinking. Felt right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I was just like, let me put this shit out there because a lot of my family didn't know it because I didn't know it at first. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a lot of the family didn't know it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like we ain't have we ain't had that relationship. Mm-hmm. And like he on my mama's side, and it was like the shit it just was a little weird little situation. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. my grandma and his granddaddy, like brothers and sisters. Right. But is your, like, your grandma, is you close to your grandma's sisters, kids, and all of them? Not all of them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they be like your faraway family and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's like, I know he had, he got, like, family members that would probably tell them, like, oh, Dolph, your cousin, Dolph, such and such, such and such. But just like the rest of the world, people be on the outside looking in. It's like, he probably thought that I knew, but I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or right. he probably didn't, but either way it go. That was my little cousin, but we never got, we ain't crossed paths. I didn't get right. up with him. You know what I mean? Mm. It's a lot of shit just by me being me that I could have put him down on. You mm. know what I mean? Just because, right. like, this is what I do from the streets to the industry. Like, this shit ain't nothing to me. What would you say is one of the biggest lessons that you learned in the streets to now and that you applied in the industry? Is it business? Just is it home. loyalty? Uh, Staying hungry. Loyalty, I'm big on that shit, but I rarely talk about it because it don't, people don't understand that shit now. Right, mm. right. So I ain't finna waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You either raise on the code or you not, Preaching right? to the choir. Yeah, like, I'm keeping keep it 100. If I don't see that shit in you, I'm not finna talk to you about it because mm-hmm. it's like, what the fuck I'm talking for? Like, you don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't a part of your life, so let's do some more shit. What you want to do, smoke a blunt or something? Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody be basic as hell. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, loyalty, I'm big on that shit. And the ones that's, that's big on that shit, them the ones that be the closest ones to me. But it's like, you know, everybody ain't big on that shit. Right. My, my, the main thing is just staying hungry. No matter what I get, no matter how much I get, no whatever the fuck, like, 
I'm just gonna always stay hungry because I remember where I came from.